Don't worry about that anymore. That was so long ago. Zero! Your class has begun, Kaname. You should go now. You're so scary. Mr. Disciplinary Committee. Um, Kaname? Would you please accept this? Thank you. <sighs> that bloody rose. Would you please put that away? I'm afraid that weapon you have is rather threatening to us. Kaname, I... I... I'll escort these uh, fools to uh, the Headmaster myself to receive their punishment. Dorm President Kuron. Zero. Is that all right? Zero? Just get them out of here, Kaname. Akatsuki, uh, because you did nothing to stop Ido, you are guilty too. Uh, now then, for the two who uh, have fainted, I'll have their memory of tonight erased, and I will take them to the Headmasters as well. Is that okay? Uh, yes, thank you. I'm sorry he scared you. That was wrong of him, Yuki. No, it's okay. It was just a little bite, more like a nibble, really. Let's go. Uh, uh, hold on, Zero. What are you doing? Zero. Hello, Zero. How are you feeling? You take care. Listen, if you want to challenge me, I'll be ready and waiting any time you want, Kaname. <laughs> Kaname! It was on the ground. Glad to accept it. Thank you, Yuki. Uh, yes, sure! Yuki. Uh, is that you, Kaname? You have been reduced to a bloodthirsty beast, Zero Kiryu. Uh, Disgraced all vampires. Uh, he'll kill Zero. No, Kaname! Please don't! Yuki! You devoured her mercilessly, didn't you, Zero? So much that she can't even stand up. How was Yuki's blood? Was it delicious? Before they're so consumed by their thirst for blood, they grab any human they can find. They were following my orders. <laughs> I did it. I'm the one who told Takama and Senri to hunt down the level E today. It was you, Kaname? Yuki, I'm surprised you would come to such a dangerous place simply because Takuma asked you to. I wanted to find out for myself. <sighs> did you now? Come over here. Yuki. Zero. <laughs> Yuki, sit beside me. Uh? It's all right. <laughs> I'm fine here. Yuki. Okay. Beside me is the safest place for you to be. You know, actually, I've been meaning to thank you for the... 
To be honest, vampires that were formerly humans shouldn't really exist at all. <laughs> but centuries ago, in the dark annals of history, lies a time when the battle between vampires and vampire hunters was most violent. Many humans were forcibly turned into vampires at that time. It was done to bolster our numbers in battle. Ever since that wrong was committed, it has been the duty of the aristocrats to oversee the vampires who were once human. And sometimes that duty means ending their lives for another's safety. It's the vampire hunter's duty to kill vampires, not yours. Then tell me, why didn't you kill that level E when you had the chance? <laughs> this must be your injury from today. Hold still. I'll ease the pain. Perhaps, Zero, you sympathized with him. <laughs> it's okay, Saren. It's my fault. I said something that I shouldn't have. How dare you point a gun at Lord Kaname? Tearing you to shreds right here wouldn't be enough! However, I will restrain myself while attending this academy. I don't want to hinder the Headmaster's pacifist ideology. But never forget, our respect for one person is what keeps us at this school, and he's Lord Kaname, a pureblood. A pureblood? Is that true, Kaname? That's the same kind of vampire who attacked Zero and his family. You look as if this is the first time you've heard this, Yuki. Are you afraid? <sighs> to tell you the truth, I guess I've always been a little bit... afraid of you. Even now, I'm still a little bit... afraid. Hey! Don't forget, everyone! This is my birthday party. You've all gotta celebrate. Yuki and Zero are my precious guests, too. <laughs> I think you'll understand. Understand what? Come on! Hurry, come in! Weren't you cold out there? <laughs> Kaname! Kaname! Guess what? What is it? You just ran up and stabbed me for no reason. That isn't nice. Shut up, vampire! I know what you are. You have the same smell as that woman! That woman? Then... You must be Zero Kiryu. I'm very sorry for what happened to your family, but... I do not intend to stand here and let you kill me, either. Zero, he's not the one who warrants your revenge is going to be a vampire. What are you trying to do, letting those things in the school? The goal is to promote peaceful coexistence between vampires and humans. And to educate young vampires so they become a politically moderate force. That's his plan. Kaname... Kuron... Kaname! Good evening, Yuki. Huh? That's absurd. <laughs> There's no way that vampires want to peacefully coexist with humans. Their history is stained with the blood of innocent people's lives! And it is our goal to put an end to that. I know how you must feel, Zero. I, too, have lost someone because of them. <laughs> then why? There's no need to worry. Kaname has agreed to join the night class as well. This will ensure that the other vampires behave. But things are over if he double-crosses us. <laughs> wasn't the one who proved to be a traitor. Kaname?
Let's go outside. I have never told you why it is that I pretend to be unaware of what's happening to you. I realize how precarious the peace is here at Cross Academy. That's why I have given a great deal of thought to just who in this little garden would best benefit Yuki. I know that you would never betray her, because you realize you owe her that much. And that is why I am allowing you to live. Zero. Something inside me changed that day. But there is one thing that will never change. And that's the part of me that will always love Kaname. If something like this kills him, he is of no use at all. However, you are the one that I just cannot bear to lose. Kaname. Have you seen Yuki around lately? I told you what your role is. You are to be her shield. It upsets me that you've forgotten. It's such a shame. You didn't have the opportunity to drink the blood that would have saved you. I left her remains there for you, Zero. Yuki is very sad right now. Yuki? Yuki? I'm surprised. You haven't completely lost yourself yet. Thirst's more painful than death, and still, you insist on continuing to fight it. The purest blood that courses through my body will prolong your life and force the shadows of madness to recede. Understand one thing. I am not doing this for you. It is for Yuki. Now take my blood. It was inevitable for Shizuka to be hunted down by Zero for what she did. <coughs> Lord Kaname. Hunted down by Zero? Tell me, why do you all feel so strongly about Zero's execution? To protect the so-called sanctity of purebloods. Lord Kaname, 
If a pure blood such as yourself stands in our way, we cannot complete our mission. Perhaps you don't realize this academy is very dear to me. I don't want it spoiled by foolish acts of vengeance performed by the Senate's henchmen. Lord Conamy, please! Ah! <laughs> Leave now. Your choice to protect Zero Kiryu shall be reported back to the Senate, Lord Kaname. Are you all right? So, Kaname, why'd you save me? Because I simply will not tolerate the execution of a schoolmate by foolish members of my race for groundless reasons. <laughs> What do you want? You did it. It was you who killed Shizuka. After I had already shot her. I've heard the flesh and blood of pure bloods hold strong powers. So her powers. You took them? <laughs> you heard? As if you have no idea. You know. You know firsthand. <laughs> you realize my blood won't save you forever. It's only temporary. I pity you, Zero. But at the same time, I'm envious that you can protect the girl you like. You and I are not done talking! I spoke to Maria. Who is this real enemy of the pure blood she told me about? There's no need for you to know that. You... I just realized. There's another way of looking at this. The only reason you can protect Yuki is because my blood is flowing inside you. I know you think that you're the one protecting Yuki, but really, it's me. You bastard. Excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt everyone. Please enjoy yourselves. Lord Kaname, is what we've heard true? Did you stand up against the Senate to defend a human? I did. I respect Lord Kaname. You must believe it's time we meet the humans halfway, for both our futures. What a noble cause. I have a life-sized voodoo doll for you, Zero. I don't want it. Please leave. What is it, Saren? Lord Kaname. I thought that I sensed something horribly unpleasant. It was you. Come in. Take a seat. <laughs> I want the truth. Did you erase Yuki's memories or not? Answer me. Did you have something to do with Yuki's past, or didn't you? Have you no desire to alleviate her fears? So, shall I destroy one of Yuki's fears right now? One less problem? Do it. I can probably get a shot off at the same time. <clears throat> Look at you. You're quite the anomaly. Vampires should fear and respect purebloods by instinct, but still you bear your fangs without reserve. I really do hate you. <laughs> you have no intention of killing me. And if I kill you needlessly, it will only cause Yuki grief, and I want no part of that. <laughs> <laughs> your body is honest. Your eyes lust for the blood it sees. I can smell Yuki on you. You ungrateful. Level E. <laughs> now that you've lost all that blood, I'm sure you're desperately thirsting for more. <laughs> Listen, Zero. Take my blood again. You must be joking. 
Do you really think I want any more of your blood? I can't have you die now. <laughs> I've allowed you to live this long so that you can serve Yuki. Because I know that you won't betray her. You're assuming things as usual. Oh, but I know. Because it's my belief that our feelings for Yuki are probably the same. <laughs> I just... All I want is for Yuki to be happy. I mean, truly happy. Me too. I don't want for her to sacrifice herself. I want her to be safe. Exactly. <laughs> And Zero, I don't want you to ever forget for whom this blood was offered. You needn't look at us with such worried eyes, Zero. From now on, this is my domain. I will watch over and protect Yuki as my lover. All right. We're going to do this. Dodge the subject again. Listen, if you won't tell me, well, then I'm just going to make up my own story. <laughs> Seems you have nothing to do, Zero. Please shoo away the day class students before they raise a fuss. <laughs> Thank you, Zero. That's much better. betray her. I know that smell. It's Yuki's blood. However... Zero! Now I sense two vampires! Kaname! You've turned Yuki! No! Stop it, Zero! This man, he's... He's my... my older brother! I'm... I'm so sorry, Zero. Your... siblings? That's right. However, if I were truly born her older brother, then I would have been much happier. However, if I were truly born her older brother, then I would have been much happier. What do you mean? Yuki is without a doubt a pure-blood daughter of the Kuran family. Even a pathetic vampire like you should be able to sense that. But then, you're also something that hunts us. What will you do? There's another pure-blood vampire. How ominous. No, Yuki's different. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm surprised. I thought for a moment that you were crying. I don't want to see you. Just leave. Ah, yes. You must be strong. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Why would you be in trouble? It's been a little over four years and the pawn I've carefully nurtured, is now almost able to devour the king. You're the pawn. You're going to destroy Rito. The monster just rose from his coffin. Are you crazy? You can do it yourself. You want to pretend like you haven't noticed? What you have so willingly taken inside yourself has begun to pulsate. <laughs> First, you unconsciously stole the powers of your twin, and as a consequence, 
You were born into your family with the power of one and a half vampire hunters. If you had devoured your twin entirely, things would have been a bit easier for you. Stop it! Then, Shizuka made you into a vampire. Many, many times. You devoured the blood of Yuki, who was watching over you tenderly. Shut up! And because she has awakened, Yuki's blood is now permeating throughout your body with the true powers of Kuran, which I'm sure is coursing inside you right now. And then I, too, gave you my blood, which contains Shizuka's blood and powers. Everything was done for this day. Soon, you'll become the strongest vampire hunter of all. Only you will be able to free me from Rito's spell. Do you really think I'd lift a finger to save you, Kaname? I know that you will not betray Yuki. I'll take Yuki and leave this academy. But as long as Rito exists, he will not stop. He will keep coming to devour her. <sighs> Goodbye. I hate to interrupt your meal, but in case you haven't noticed, dawn is upon us. It's time for our curtain to finally fall on our vampire night. <laughs> you think only you can actually draw that curtain? <laughs> Ow, that does hurt. But you know, those little attacks of yours won't finish me. You're right. I cannot do that. But I am not the one who will drop the curtain. <laughs> You're late. Go on. Finish that thing off. <laughs> Have you forgotten you're nothing more than a servant with a lapdog who can't defy me? Goodbye. Well done. You realize you're next, Kanamekura. You didn't think that everything would go exactly as you planned it, did you? I did wonder. I knew all too well. Once you gained this unrivaled power and finished Rito off for good, the chances were you would most likely come after my life. However, I also knew that you wouldn't pull that trigger. What? <laughs> Zero! Kaname, what are you... Yuki. Listen. It will be time to leave soon. Yes, I knew it all along, every bit of it.